My name is Genevieve and my business is Gen and Tonic Art and I was commissioned to paint this uh, mural on the toilet block out Tusmore Park. A lot of my designs that I create, I really want to make them joyful and playful and engaging for the community. And growing up in the area and living in Burnside, I knew what the colours were and kind of what the vibe was. And I really wanted to sort of incorporate elements of the area in particular. So we've got the squiggle across the mural, which sort of is representative of the creek that runs through Tusmal Park and the other areas of Burnside. There's also some native birds. So there's kookaburras and a magpie and there's a frog on the other side. And I put a few designs together that incorporated these sort of elements and it was sent out to the community after a bit of a process and there were three or four designs I think and people got to vote on which one they liked the most and this was the outcome. It was such a fun experience. I was able to bring my sister to come and help me and my partner came down and even on one of the days we brought down my dog and that's the whole point about this park like it's such an open welcoming space. So Painting it, um, it took us maybe about four days. I don't usually paint with aerosol or spray cans, so everything's done with brush and by hand. Even the big purple wall at the back was all painted by brush and not roller. So it really is, there's a lot of love and effort put into the project. And yeah, it was a real, it was a delight to paint. So I grew up about 80 metres that way on Northumberland Street. I spent every summer from birth to 10, 12, 13 years old and summer, winter, autumn, every weekend in this park because we were so close to the park my parents would let us come down and have free rain basically so we would walk through the creek and we would play in the wading pool even in winter if the wading pool wasn't empty we would go and play in the wading pool so I spent a lot of time down here and it really does hold a very special place in my heart and I love the idea that um, my future kids will be able to come down here and see something that I've created and be in a space that now not only because I've painted it but is it's a nice welcoming space to be in as well. We've had hundreds of people over the past couple of days. The park's been really busy because it's been really hot and the waiting pool's been really busy. So we've had hundreds of people come past and pretty much every single person that's visited the toilet block has loved it. The kids have been pointing out their favourite colours, favourite animal, oh look at the leaves that are on the walls and they have all noticed, especially the people who visit regularly, how much even on day one we had barely started painting and they were saying just from the slight touches of colour on the wall how much of a difference it had already made and then we had a few families who were coming back every single day because they live around the area and seeing the progress and they were just blown away so it was really really wonderful. I was especially happy that the local residents, I loved that the visitors to the park who hadn't been here before loved it but it was really important to me also being a Burnside resident that the other residents of the area enjoyed it and were okay with it as well because I know it can be a little bit confronting when new things happen and, and changes come in but the positive feedback I've got so far has been wonderful. I just really hope that people enjoy it as much as I enjoy painting it and that it goes forward in the community and other people are inspired to go home and either create at home or Maybe other grants are put forward to do more artwork in the community. I know that there are lots of local councils around Adelaide which are really embracing public artwork and I would love to see more of that in Burnside and it be something that is celebrated and um, people get excited about.